everybody and welcome to another canning revolution workshop i am michelle from all sorts and heather the needy homesteader has asked me to talk to you about canning with a presto on a glass top stove I myself have canned on a glass top stove since 2013. Now, that stove was purchased in 2010. I'm now canning, not at the moment, but I'm now canning on my new glass top stove that I purchased in the spring. I have never had any issues canning with my Presto. In fact, I will can with both of my canners at the same time. I also have a 16 quart. So while there's a lot of information online, on blogs, and much of it is useful, I am restricting what I say today to what I have found out from Presto and what I have found out from my Frigidaire manual. If you have a glass stove top, refer to the manufacturer's manual that came with your stove or look it up online. So I actually went on the website of the store that I bought my stove at and we're scrolling down here and let's click on the manual. So I happen to know that the information is on page 18, so let's just skip to there. Because we are specifically referring to a Presto canner, I'm only gonna discuss the points that I feel refer to pressure canning. So point number two, make sure the diameter of the canner does not exceed one inch beyond the surface element markings or burner. The diameter of the Presto base is nine inches, so keep this in mind. I will read point number three. There is a reference to a ceramic glass cooktop in it. It is recommended to use smaller diameter canners on electric coil and ceramic glass cooktops and to center canners on the burner grates. Once again, the base of your Presto canner is nine inches diameter. The fourth point states, start with hot tap water to bring water to boil more quickly. The fifth point is, use the highest heat setting when first bringing the water to a boil. Once boiling is achieved, reduce heat to lowest possible setting to maintain that boil. Now, that sounds like it is referring to water bath canning. When you look at the Presto manual, it'll say, using a relatively high heat setting, heat the pressure canner until a steady flow of steam can be seen, heard, or felt coming from the vent pipe. Exhaust air from the canner for 10 minutes by allowing the steam to flow from the vent pipe. Reduce heat if necessary to maintain a steady, moderate flow of steam. The seventh point says, it is best to can small amounts and light loads. What constitutes a small amount? And what constitutes a light load? I wanted to ask Frigidaire these questions. However, when I phoned them, which I did so several times, the message was, due to high volume, we are not accepting calls at this time. My experience of eight years canning on glass stove tops with this 23 quart Presto full has been that I have never had an issue. I've also never had an issue canning on my glass stove top with both of my canners full. I am going to insert a clip here 
but my 16 quart is actually not full. It has three quarts of chicken broth in it. I'm now going to open up the 23 quart. Do not leave water bath or pressure canners on high heat for extended amounts of time. When I phoned Presto, the home economist mentioned something similar, and we'll get to that in a moment. I was able to get in touch with Presto, and I was put through to one of their home economists, and she gave me some tips about canning on a glass top stove. So, some of the tips she gave me, based on information that she had gotten from manufacturers. So let's go over some of these tips. Always clean the stove top first. Okay, also do not drag your canner across your glass stove top. Now, I would treat a canner like I would any other piece of cooking equipment, whether it's cast iron, stainless steel, I just wouldn't drag anything across my glass stove top. She also mentioned to put your canner on the closest diameter that matches the bottom of your Presto. And the bottom of your Presto canner will be nine inches in diameter. Now, here's something she said, and based on what we just read in the frigid air instructions, I think it's quite similar. Don't can on the same element for several hours at a time. Okay, and what else did she say? Oh, this is an interesting one. Do not place the canner on two heated elements at the same time. That's really interesting. I, I can't imagine anybody doing that with a canner. I mean, I've done that with a grill, a rectangular grill. I've put that on two elements, uh, but I guess some people have tried this. She also sent me a link to their latest instruction manual. Here's the link that the Home Economist at Presto sent me. And she directed me to look specifically at the 23 quart induction compatible pressure canner because it was their latest document that referenced pressure canning on a glass stovetop. Page 14, point number two. If canning on an electric smooth top or induction range, refer to instructions for canning in the owner's manual for your range. Always clean the stove top with a cooktop polishing cream according to the range manufacturer's instructions before and after canning use. In addition, to avoid scratching the ceramic glass surface of the smooth top or induction range, check the bottom of the canner to be sure it is clean and free of debris and does not have any nicks or scratches. So it all comes down to checking your owner's manual. And I'll leave links to other manufacturers' instruction manual pages, as well as a link to the Presto 
site. I hope this video has helped you and serves as some source of encouragement for you to get canning with your Presto on your glass stovetop. Thank you for watching.